All right, to locate the 10th intercostal space, we count back from the 13th rib, so 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th, 12th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 12th, 12th, 11th, 10th. So there would be the 10th intercostal space, and that's where we're going to go in. And then you want to draw a line traditionally from here to the shoulder. So this would be about the spot that you would traditionally make your uh, incision and where you would enter the uh, thoracic or abdominal cavity. But actually what I like to do is come down just a little bit. And so your line is more from here across to the shoulder. So it's, it's not very different. It's just a little bit lower than what the traditional method would tell you to do. And so we'll shave that up and clean it. And then we'll, once you've got a, a good scrub, initial scrub, and clean the area, then you can um, use lidocaine to have some local anesthetic. And you wanna just put a little bleb underneath the skin one to two mils, and then some deep into the muscle layers. Usually I use between four and five, three and five mils, depending upon the size of the animal. So I use sterile gloves, but you don't have to. It just kind of makes me um, use cleaner technique. Then you take a scalpel, and you can use this or the smaller one that just has the, uh, the the little blade on it. Identify your bleb. Do just do a little stab incision through the skin. This is a a 14 gauge uh, 16 millimeter needle, and uh, this one's actually uh, True Cut from Merit Medical. There's a uh, but in general they're all the same now this is the important part when we do this is because you will get the sample right in this uh, groove here and so when we capture the sample it's important that we um, push forward with all of this intact together and then we move the trocar part or the inside part forward so that that's where the sample will come. Now the liver will come down over that and then we hold this in place and put the outside sleeve forward. That's how we'll cut that sample and then we'll pull it out. Now it's important to kind of work through this before you ever do a sample. Again, we're gonna use this, go forward nice and steady. We'll probably feel a pop and then until we get to some real steady resistance, and we'll feel that. Once we feel that, then we'll push this trocar, this inside part forward where the sample is, hold that steady, and then put, uh, advance the sleeve portion, and then hopefully we'll have a very good sample. Now again, the thing that we kind of want to push and aim forward to that opposite shoulder, just like in the traditional uh, descriptions, however, is we don't have to be at such an acute angle, down or forward, and we can pretty much just go. Straight forward, so we should feel a pop. There we felt a little pop. Go forward a little bit more. And there we go. We got a nice little liver sample. And what we'll do is we'll have our assistant with the needle. You can stop it. Here we go. With the needle, just tease that over into that sample container.
So then you would just repeat that same procedure uh, two to three times more. We want to get a sample that's um, large enough that they can get a, a, a full a mineral panel from and they'll use that ICP MS inductively couple, coupled plasma uh, mass spec method and, um, and that's it.